The Miracle Ear Foundation provides hearing aids and hearing support to those who truly need our help. In partnership with our stores and donors across the country, we are reaching more hearing impaired children and adults than ever before. Building on more than a quarter century of service, the Miracle Ear Foundation is accelerating the gift of sound. As Skylar Mansu stares at the waveforms on the screen, she can't hear the music. At least, not until Dan Krieger turns on her new hearing aid. The 17 year old has scars on her eardrums and permanent hearing damage after years of ear infections since she was a toddler. Struggling to hear in school and at work, the Diamond's Oak Jr. battled for years with depression while her hearing would progressively get worse. She kept seeking help and eventually she got accepted to receive the free hearing aid from the Miracle Ear Foundation. I wanted them to be dark so everybody can see that I had hearing aids because that's a part of me that I have to live with and I've always lived with it. So if you can't love that, then you can't love me. David Sweet is a 65-year-old retired logger and a grandfather of six. Sweet was born with a hole in his right eardrum and recently discovered his ability to hear out of his left ear was failing him too. Sweet doesn't have insurance and thought he was going to have to deal with his hearing loss. That's when he found out about the Miracle Ear Foundation and applied for the program. It's going to be great. It really is. It's going to definitely change his life for the better. Preston and Beverly Hallman struggled with hearing loss for more than a decade. But that decade ended today thanks to a gift from the Miracle Ear Foundation, free hearing aids. It's totally amazing. We just hated to even think about going and getting a hearing aid because we couldn't afford it, you know. But with Miracle Ear, they have provided a way to where they can take care of the elderly people. This is going to change their lives dramatically. An ear-splitting noise fills the room as a tiny hearing aid chirps and screeches its way to life. Carmen's husband, a rancher, died 10 years ago. Then, a year later, her daughter was diagnosed with cancer, a battle she lost this past July. Carmen's only solace, two adopted grandchildren with special needs, raised on a fixed income. When she walked out of the office, I just, you know, start crying. Carla Mueller, a doctor at Miracle Ear, says she was so moved by Carmen's story, she immediately contacted the Miracle Ear Foundation. So they brought her in for a free fitting. And today... Carmen? Yes. Can you hear me? <laughs> this grandma got her ears back. Just see that smile in their face it is something that it's that you have it with you in your heart You hear that? It's nothing. Out here in the middle of West Texas, there is nothing. And if you're deaf or hearing impaired, you never hear anything. So the cause I'm riding for is the Miracle Ear Foundation. So that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, pedaling lots of miles here, but I thought I'd show you what it looks like and what it sounds like out here. Today, there's a nationwide challenge called One Day Without Sound to show people what it's really like to live with hearing loss. So we're earplugs that simulate a hearing impairment kind of feels like you're underwater. It's hard for me to understand like the consonant sounds you're saying right now. I do feel like I'm talking a lot louder because I can kind of barely hear myself. You might think that the people around you are mumbling. You might ask people like, speak up. Why are you talking so, so quietly? Uh, that's usually a sign that you're having a little bit of clarity issue. It might be a little bit of a high frequency hearing loss that you've mm -hmm. developed. One Saginaw father has lived most of his life in silence. Now that changed today thanks to the Miracle Ear Foundation giving the gift of sound. Not only is this father of two teenage girls getting new hearing aids, the Miracle Ear Foundation is paying for a lifetime of care. It's an emotional journey for a lot of people because a lot of people out there really do not have the financial support. Just because I got a mental disability does it mean that I cannot function and do things just as much as, as the other? 
And joining us this morning, professional angler and Bassmaster Elite Alton Jones. You have stepped up to the plate to help others. Uh, when I when I got my first set of hearing aids, it really changed my life. Being a part of the Miracle Ear Foundation is something that I'm very proud of and very passionate about. Find a Miracle Ear office near you and go in and just simply get a test uh, and uh, it will make a difference in your life. Can you hear? How exciting is that? This is the moment today when seven-year-old Meredith Coville heard clearly for the first time in her life. Meredith found out she would get hearing aids free from the Miracle Ear Foundation. And today... I can hear like everybody else. Oh. I'm just happy for it. She's the first child in Spartanburg to get hearing aids donated by the Miracle Ear Foundation. She'll be able to, to be around her friends and be the same. No disadvantage. I think everybody was emotional. Meredith learned to read lips over the years, of course. The family says they could not afford those hearing aids, so they're very thankful for Meredith getting this gift of hearing. This job is the most rewarding that I've ever done. Why? Because you're giving people a quality of life that they haven't had.